My name is Tev Aho and I'm a consultant urological surgeon and a partner in the Cambridge Urology Partnership. I'm a New Zealander and completed most of my urological training in New Zealand where I learnt the technique of holmium laser enucleation of the prostate or HOLAP from the surgeons there who invented it. I moved to Cambridge in 2003 to spend a year doing advanced training in cancer surgery. One thing led to another and over a decade later I'm still enjoying life here in the UK. I spend most of my time doing a full range of kidney surgery for both cancer and benign conditions and doing HOLEP laser surgery for men with urinary symptoms or retention due to benign prostatic obstruction. I helped to introduce HOLEP to the UK back in 2004 and since then I've trained a number of surgeons in the technique, published a number of HOLEP papers and demonstrated HOLEP at, an, at national and international meetings. HOLEP is recommended by the National Institute of Health and Clinical Excellence for use in specialised centres in the UK and it has emerged as a potential new gold standard for the surgical treatment of obstructive BPH. Surgery is like many things in life, the more often you do it, the better you tend to get. I've performed more than 900 HOLEPs now, which is the largest personal experience in the UK. The only function of the prostate is to produce some of the fluid found in semen. The prostate lies just below the bladder, and a channel through the centre of it transmits urine from the bladder through the prostate to the urethra. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, is a very common condition of the prostate which causes it to grow. As the prostate grows inwards it can obstruct the flow of urine causing a number of urinary symptoms. Urinary symptoms unfortunately can significantly impact on the quality of life of both the affected men and their partners. Many men end up living their life unnecessarily around the urinary condition thinking that it is just something that they need to live with. In fact, effective help is at hand for those who want or need it. If you are a man over 45 and have noticed a change in urination, it is worth mentioning this to your GP and considering a urological referral. Because although BPH is the most likely cause, there are other possible causes such as prostate and bladder cancer that it is clearly important to rule out. At the Cambridge Urology Partnership, we offer a one-stop comprehensive assessment for male urinary symptoms that can be undertaken during a single 30-minute clinic consultation. This includes completion of a questionnaire about your symptoms, an examination of your prostate, analysis of urine, a blood test, a urinary flow test, and a bladder scan. If there is evidence of obstructive BPH, medications would be considered in the first instance. Although it is always wise to try medications initially for obstructive BPH, surgery may be necessary to achieve the desired outcome. Surgery to treat BPH is like unblocking a blocked pipe. The more completely the blockage is removed, the greater the improvement in flow and other urinary symptoms. HOLEP is the most advanced and effective minimally invasive laser technique for BPH. It removes the prostate blockage more completely than any other endoscopic procedure. It was developed in the 1990s and has withstood the test of time. The prostate is a bit like this orange, with a channel through the centre. It has an inner part, the orange itself, which is causing the blockage. It also has an outer part, the skin of the orange. In HOLEP, a laser fibre is placed through the urethra directly into the centre of the prostate. The laser is used to separate the three prostate segments, or lobes, and these are then peeled off the skin from the inside, detached and eased up into the bladder from where they are removed by a special instrument. The end result is a complete removal of the obstructing part of the prostate and a wide open channel through the prostate. The Holmium laser enables virtually bloodless surgery and the surgeon has an excellent view which enables a very safe and precise operation. It is normally done under a general anaesthetic. The main alternatives to HOLEP are transurethral resection of the prostate, or TURP, and green light laser surgery. The advantages of HOLEP compared to TURP include less blood loss, shorter catheter time, shorter hospital stay, better relief of prostate obstruction, and greater improvement in urinary symptoms and flow rate. The need for repeat surgery due to regrowth of BPH is less with HOLEP. HOLEP can be done in men with abnormal blood clotting and with any size prostate, 
whereas TURP cannot. Advantages of HOLEP compared to green light laser surgery include better relief of obstruction, greater improvement in urinary symptoms and flow rate, less penile pain after surgery, and removal of tissue that can be analysed to check for the presence of cancer. HOLEP is suitable for men with any size prostate, whereas green light is not as effective for very large prostates. HOLEP is very durable, whereas significant reoperation rates for regrowth of BPH have been reported for green light. If you'd like an appointment to have your urinary symptoms assessed comprehensively by a specialist and or to discuss laser prostate surgery with an expert, please contact us at the Cambridge Urology Partnership.